Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making butter burgers in our Ninja Foodie. All while having a whole lot of fun. Look at that deliciousness. Mm-hmm. My kitchen. I am Chris from RecipesAtCrock.com. And I am her husband. My name is Mikey. <laughs> I'm a Cancer. I love long walks on the beach. And I am too from RecipesAtCrock.com. Okay. Well, today we are here for a yummy foodie Friday. We are going to be making butter burgers in our Ninja Foodie. And then we are going to top them with some homemade pimento cheese and make them pimento cheese butter burgers dude because so good. yum so what i have going in the foodie right now and i'm gonna have to lift and shift a little bit here a is a little lift and shift and don't burn your fingers yeah is a uh fourth of a cup of butter and it is definitely ready for our ground beef we have four patties here and I just like to sprinkle them with a little bit of Laurie's salt, seasoned salt. You can season them however you like your burgers. Um, they're barely going to fit into my foodie right now. I'm gonna ask you to do my second sprinkle here, dear. I can do that. Since I got my hands. But we're gonna kind of layer them until they start to shrink and then we can get them the rest of the way. Um, all right. So we're sprinkling the first side and laying that face down into the butter. And then Mikey's going to sprinkle. When did you start getting a British accent? Uh -huh. Then let's get them. Those are big patties yes. for that. They shrink down and it all ends up fine. It's just a matter of getting them there, there until. Oh, so you know, right now we are on a medium high in the Ninja Foodie uh, on the saute feature. That probably is an important thing to tell y'all. Hang on just a second. I need to wash my hands. I didn't get mine dirty. I'm good. Um, This idea for this recipe comes from one of my very favorite restaurants back home. And they have a pimento cheeseburger. And one of the reasons I love going there is because they also let you have uh, bacon Brussels sprouts instead of french fries. So after Am I we, tried and true? Uh-huh. That's in Greenwood, Indiana. They don't sponsor this, but we'll sponsor them. No. If y'all are ever in the, the central Indiana area, you might stop by Tried and True L House for lunch. We might be there. <laughs> I, I eat there often at, um, whenever I am um, home. But I'm not home. But I am wanting one of their yummy burgers with that pimento cheese. So what I decided to do is uh, what, two things. If you're eating low carb, pimento cheese can either be super, super low carb or it can be um, a high carb thing depending on what you find in the grocery store. So I could not find a low carb option. So I set out and made my own yesterday and I'm never going to buy it again. I'm just uh, going to make I'm, my I'm, own. Oh, it's... <laughs> You introduced me to pep, uh, to uh, pimento cheese. Yes. I never like I I don't know. I think it's because I would equate pimentos to olives, and I hated green olives when I was a kid. So I thought that the, the pimentos were gross too. Come to find out, pimentos aren't gross, and you put them in with cheese, and holy moly, it gives a dish uh, just a really good flavor. It's good with chicken. It's good melted with chips, and it's really really good on these butter burgers. Yeah. If you don't have a foodie and you're just wanting to do the cheeseburger hey, look, step, down. yeah, now I, okay. If you don't have a foodie, you can do this in a this step in a skillet and finish off in the air fryer, and it's going to be just as good. Um, it Let's is see, a little awkward right now because my foodie has a small surface area to get them all, but that's why I flip them before they kind of goldened up on one side. And the reason we're doing it in the foodie, one, is to show you how to do it in the foodie, and two, we're in Texas right now, and you would think because it's Texas, it would be warm. It is not. It is cold <laughs> outside, so we're trying to conserve our propane to run our furnace, so we don't want to use our skillets to do that, and so, and this, and well... The foodie's warming up the trailer, too. So yes, it, it's, it's a win -win. serving all kinds of things. So, um, just so you guys know, we can show you how to make homemade pimento cheese, a uh, low-carb style, which is also, it's not just low-carb, it's kind of how you make it generally anyways. Um, if you guys want a video on how to make your own, 
a comment down below. Um, but we will... Please comment down below and ask her to show you how to make that pimento cheese. Not just so that you know how to make it, but because I want more. <laughs> We, uh, so what we're going to do after we let this cook, so what we're doing is we're cooking until golden and juices run clean um, with the burgers. So this is going to cook for a golden. while. Well, the brown, brown the edges will, will brown up and that's that nice buttered, uh, crispy, crispy parts of the burger that are only going to get crispier when we put it on the air fry mode and melt our cheese. So um, we've got that going. We'll probably let these cook for a little bit. Um, what we're going to do, if you have any question at all, is you use a meat thermometer to make sure that your burgers reach. 160 degrees in the middle. Yes, and so once they reach that, then they are done. Ground beef is not one of those uh, meats that you want to mess around with. Uh, because it is ground and everything, it's not like steak where you can kind of have it a little bit more rare. Um, you want it done in the middle, so that's what this is for. Um, but we will be back um, after we've uh, flipped this and we're about ready for the next step. In, in three, two, one. And we are back, and how did you do it? What did you do? Okay, what we did is we cooked it for seven minutes on both sides, and then we, oh, see, it's happy now. Um, and then we uh, checked it with the meat thermometer and we were right under 160 and then it bumped right to 160 right after that. So what to, to recap what we did is we melted the butter, then we laid them down until they shrunk up enough for us to flip over and then we did the seven minutes on each side. So now I don't want to overcook them because I'm going to put them in the air fryer. So I'm going to temporarily place them on this plate. If you want to shut the foodie off for me real quick, good. So, one of the things I like about the air fryer in the foodie is it doesn't get overly uh, touchy about having grease down in the bottom. So, I'm not going to worry about dumping this out. If you want to, by all means, carefully take um, some mit uh, pot holders. That's what those are called. Mitten. Kitchen mittens. <laughs> And uh, go ahead and take them. <laughs> Kitchen mittens. I, I love I it. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> um, anyhow, you can go ahead and take them and uh, and uh, pour out that grease if you would like to so that you will get absolutely no smoke. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the air fryer feature for this end part. We're not going to do it just quite yet because it's going to yell at us because it wants the lid down. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, rack that came with the foodie and we're going to put it on the high level and place it down into the pot. And to that, we are going to add our burgers back onto the grill and we're going to put one tablespoon. That piece fell off, that's mine. Okay, you're going to taste the nice buttery, isn't that yummy? That's amazing. I know. And the air fryer just helps it even more. Okay, so now we are going to uh, put a heaping tablespoon of our pimento cheese on each one of the burgers and kind of press it on down in there. You can use other forms of cheese if you want to. Now, any other time this. <laughs> that I've made it, um, my pimento cheese hadn't been quite set up because uh, it was fresh. I had freshly made it. So it may take me a little bit longer with this uh, cheese that's been refrigerated, but we will see. It's so good. Like I said, a heaping teaspoon on each one. And then we teaspoon are... Or tablespoon? Or, I'm sorry, tablespoon. Yeah. Don't want to short the cheese. No, don't chinch yourself out on the, on the pimento cheese. Yeah. That you're going to comment down below on this video and say, please, Chris, show us how to make the pimento cheese yes. your way. It's very, it's, it's very tasty. I will tell you that. Um, okay. So I'm just going to spread this out just a little bit. It will melt um, as it cooks. Now, like I said, I'm used to making this with fresh pimento cheese on the top. So it, it probably would melt faster because it's not been in the refrigerator uh, really, really cold. So it may take us just a little bit longer with the refrigerated uh, pimento cheese. But typically the way that I do this is I cook... Or can I help you? 
Yeah, you'll just keep going. <laughs> um, this stuff is, is so good. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to first remove Mikey's camera. Maybe. I can't. Want some help? Yeah, thanks. I'm going to put the air fryer lid down. I'm going to put this on air crisp and I'm going to keep it on 390. And I'm going to reduce this down to two minutes. Um, my guess is because I have refrigerated pimento cheese, it's probably going to take up to three. Um, but we're going to start with two minutes and let that cheese melt. And then we'll show you what it looks like in three, two, one. We are back and lunch is ready. Oh my gosh, take a look at that. Yes. Look at that melty, melty cheese on top. Everything is melted down. Now, she put it on there for, what was it, two minutes? And because it was cold, it had been refrigerated, mm -hmm. and it melted down, but it didn't finally get like fully done. So she put it on there for another minute on Air Crisp. We want it nice and drippy. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and give Mikey his. Thanks. Um, he forgot to pick up buns. I did. We're going to go au natural today. Yes. You're going to go low carb version. For now. For now. <laughs> Check that out. This is just a burger, right? Just a burger. You got a butter burger where, listen, if you can hear it, I can do it. It's crispy on the outside. And then you put that cheese on there and let it melt. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's gonna be super, super hot. I'm not telling you that, I'm telling me that because I just wanna devour this thing and I know it's not gonna be, it's gonna be super hot. It browned up real good in there. It's done in the middle. And so at that one, when you hit it at 160, it's gonna get done in the middle, which is good. And then that cheese just melts over the top of it. And I love. Oh my gosh! Oh. My. I love how the air fryer helps crisp that butter up just one more step, and then the cheese—it's perfect. It just is mm. a perfect little step. And one of those fun things that you can do in the foodie. Um, you could do this back home with an air fryer if you wanted to, or you could even pop it in your broiler if you wanted to afterwards, if you want to use your oven. Mmm. That pimento cheese, guys. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. please, please tell her to make it soon. <laughs> We're going to run out real quick. We're going to make another recipe here coming up in a few weeks, or maybe not. I don't know what week it is on here, but... Um, that's going to be a chicken dish with the pimento cheese. Kind of a play off of something that I make a lot at home. And um, so if you don't um, have a pimento cheese that you already love, you might want that recipe. Just let us know if you guys want it. You do. Um, we, we'll give you the recipe um, in this recipe flat out. But if you want a video, let us know. You but, do. <laughs> he wants you to. Um, but if you like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. You do. If you're not already a member of this Crock Posse, our slow cooking family around here, click subscribe down below and you'll become a member of the crew around here. You will. <laughs> if you'd like notified every time we upload a video, click the... You do. ding a -ling. <laughs> That's the notification bell down below, and YouTube will let you know every time we upload a video, whether it be cooking, vlogging, or travel. Um, but whatever you do, we hope you laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny enough to send us money, click the Patreon.